Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to I think the first ever soccer video on uh, on the channel. You know how much I love my brackets, right? Y'all know I love my brackets. Um, so if there's a chance to pick a bracket, I'm not going to pass it up. Um, but it is unfortunately about a sport that I know basically nothing about. Um, the World Cup is about to kick off this week and you know what? I don't watch soccer. I think soccer is kind of boring, but you know what? I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's the biggest soccer event there is. Um, I, you know what? I'm going to watch the World Cup. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I'm going to make a bracket, even though <coughs> my soccer knowledge is very small. Very, very small. Um, I filmed a podcast there will be a new Bloomington Buddies podcast episode up with Eddie on the podcast channel. Either today or tomorrow. We filmed yesterday and uploaded it, but it, there were a bunch of problems with it, so we had to delete it, and we're going to try to re-upload it either today or tomorrow. My picks will be on there, too. Eddie's picks will also be up there. He knows a lot about soccer, a lot more than I do. Um, so we'll, we'll see. But you know what? So let, let's make our picks. So there's uh, eight groups with four teams, so 32 total total countries. And the top two from each group go on to bracket play. And then it's 16 teams, single elimination. So, Group A has the Netherlands, Qatar, Senegal, and Ecuador. I'm taking the Netherlands first. I think they're definitely going to finish first. I'm taking Qatar just because they're the home team. Um, I'm kinda, I was kind of confused why the World Cup is being held in such a like small country. Well, Qatar's got a lot of money. A lot of dough in Qatar. Very rich country. Um, so, you know what? I got to pick the home team. And then I guess Senegal and Ecuador will not be making it. Um, group B. Okay. The best team in this group is probably going to be England. Um, definitely probably the best team. Um, now we got our beloved, the U.S. of A. Uh, and... Uh, who else we got in here? Iran and Wales. Now, Wales is a very, very small country. Um, actually, they're not even a country. I think it, Aren't England, Wales, Scotland, and like Ireland all part of the UK? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm not... I, I, I'll pick the states. I mean, why not? Um, maybe... I think maybe Wales or Iran can beat them. But you know what? We're going to take the states. Why not? Uh, next, Group C. Argentina, probably definitely the best team. I know they have, what's it? They have uh, Messi's on Argentina. He's very good, I hear. Um, so we're going to take them. And I'm going to take Mexico to finish second. Um, I know Mexico's very good at soccer. Poland and Saudi Arabia. Sorry, y'all will not be moving on. Next, we have, I know France is the defending champs, and I know they have a very good team. Um, so I'm going to take France. And then I'll take, I guess, Denmark to finish second. And then Tunisia. I love Tunisia, man. My most popular video is about a Tunisian swimmer, Ahmed Hafnawi, who goes to IU. Shout out Ahmed Hafnawi. Shout out Tunisia, but I'm not going to take them. All right. Group E. I know Germany, Spain, and Costa Rica are very good. I think Germany and Spain will be probably the top two in this region. And then Costa Rica and Japan will be bringing up the rear there. Belgium, Croatia, Canada, and Morocco. I heard Belgium has a very good team. I don't know who told me that, uh, but I heard Belgium has a very good team. And I know Croatia was uh, made it to the final last time this event was held and lost to France. So I'm going to take them. And then Canada and Morocco will be bringing up the rear. Uh, next we have Cameroon, Brazil, Switzerland, and Serbia. Brazil prop probably for sure going to win this group. I know they have the most World Cups. I think they have five. So, yeah, definitely Brazil. One of, if not the best soccer countries in the world. And I'm taking Cameroon second. Um, a lot of those African teams can be pretty damn good. A lot of those African teams have some damn good players. So, I'm going to take Cameroon because I don't think Switzerland or Serbia are going to be better than Cameroon. Next, okay, last last group, Group H, definitely taking Portugal. They have uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. 
on their team. So for sure gonna take them. And then it was this is a toss up between Uruguay and Ghana. I know Uruguay is in South America. They have some a lot. I, okay, Korea's finishing last, but I know Ghana's got a very talented team too. I went back and forth on this one. I'm gonna go with Uruguay. I think Uruguay is gonna be gonna edge them out in, by a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that's the group stage. Now we're going to head on to the actual bracket. So let's see what kind of matchups we got here. The Netherlands of the U.S. Honestly, the U.S. would be lucky to even get this far. So I think the Netherlands would beat them. Uh, Argentina and Denmark. Definitely going to take Argentina. Germany and Croatia. I'm going to take Croatia. Um, I know they made it far the last time this event was held. And I'm going to take them again. That might be a stupid pick. I don't know. Brazil and Uruguay. Um, a South American rivalry, I would assume. Uh, we're going to take Brazil. Powerhouse. Qatar and England. Give me the home squad. Give me, give me Qatar. Oh, I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass. But give me, give me the home squad. Qatar. Um, France and Mexico. I'm going to take Mexico. Uh, Belgium and Spain. I'm going to take Belgium. I, I, I don't know. Someone told me they were really good. Portugal and Cameroon. I'm definitely going to take Portugal. Uh, all right. Netherlands and Argentina. Definitely going to take Argentina. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're the favorites. I think they're the betting favorites. I think. I think the. I think. I th hold on. I want to see who's the favorite. I think Argentina is the favorite. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. No, Brazil's actually the slight favorite. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I probably should have looked at these betting odds before I made my bracket. Yeah, maybe I should have looked at that, but eh, too late now. Taking Brazil over uh, Croatia. Mexico and Qatar. I think Qatar's run comes to an end. I'm taking Mexico. Belgium and Portugal. I'm going to take Portugal. Which brings us to our final four. Final four. Um, Argentina and Brazil. Oh, Well, these are probably the two best teams. Um, from what I'm seeing, these are the two best teams. Um, I feel like more, pe I feel like mm, a lot of people are going to be on Argentina. Um, I'm going to take Brazil because, Ar yeah, Argentina's gotten messy. But who else do they have? I mean, they could, they could have a God squad for all I know. I, d I just don't know. I know Brazil's always a very well-rounded and safe team to pick. So I'm going to take Brazil. Mexico and Portugal. I'm going to take Portugal. They have Ronaldo. Okay. Championship match, Brazil and Portugal. Ah, I don't know, man. This is tough. Uh, this is tough. Uh, okay, I know Ronaldo's great. I know he's the best player in the world. Is he the best player in the world still? I'm pretty sure he is. Um, but is anyone else on Portugal really that great? I mean, is he going to have to carry him basically by himself? I'm not sure. My pick is Brazil. I think they're the best team. Um, from what I've been seeing, they look like the best team. Um, this said Loose Sale Stadium. I deadass thought it said Lucas Oil Stadium. But <coughs> You know what? I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, those are my picks. Um, if you like them, great. If you don't, call me an idiot in the comments. Um, I probably am. Uh, I, like I said, don't know a lot about soccer, but I do want to watch some of these games. Maybe, maybe some streams. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time.